Hey guys, I am here today because I have a bunch of new products that I've gotten through my BoxyCharm and I thought I would do a fun get ready with me using a lot of these products, which a lot of them I haven't used yet. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and see what happens. Now I actually usually start with bronzing my face. So I'm going to be using this blush and bronzer palette by Coastal Scents. It looks like that. I have not used this yet. So I am going to use the one that has a little bit of shimmer to it actually, which is this color here, uh, because it's a little bit lighter. So let's try this out. It's looking okay so far. The shimmer in it is not super, super shimmery, so that's nice, that's nice and subtle. I feel like this might be a little warmer than I'm used to, but that's okay. How have you guys been? What have you been up to? Have you guys had a good summer? I hope you have. It's been very busy for us. We went to Lake Chelan a couple weekends ago, which was so much fun. My son loved swimming and loved playing in the sand and eating the sand. All right, what do you guys think? What do you think of this bronzer? I think it looks all right. I think it's a tiny bit warmer than I'm used to, but I don't think it's like too warm. I think it totally works. So now I'm gonna try their blush. I received this blush from my BoxyCharm. It's by Studio Makeup and I love this. I use this a lot, but I wanted to try something new for you. So I'm gonna start with this color. I've noticed that since I've gone brighter with my hair, I kind of feel like, ooh, that's pigmented. I feel like I need to go a little bit brighter with my blush sometimes so that I don't look too washed out because I am kind of pale. And then I, now I have very light colored hair. So I tend to go a little bit heavier with my blush than I've been doing. And I think that helps to just bring a little bit more color to my face so I don't look too washed out by all the blonde. This color is really nice. It's really pretty. It's very pigmented as you saw and it blends out really, really nicely. I have this weird like, it wants to be a dimple right here and color always looks, it goes over the spot really weird. It always looks really funky right there. It's my wannabe dimple, but it's not quite a dimple. <laughs> now this palette has a highlighter in it right here, but I'm a little worried that it is not gonna be light enough for me because I am just so light but we can try it. I see a little bit there. I also received this like loose pigment highlighter. Oh, there we go. That's showing up more than I thought it would. That's good. That's all right. As I was saying, I got this loose pigment, um, really sparkly highlighter from them and I seem to have misplaced it. It is somewhere in my house, but I can't find it. So when I find it, I'll use it in a tutorial sometime. I think that highlighter works okay. I might add a little bit of another highlighter later if I feel like I want to be a little more glowy. So now I'm gonna use this Ofra palette that I got for my BoxyCharm. I have used these and I really, 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 really like these. So I'm gonna first start with this color right here. This is like a very light banana color and I'm gonna put that in the crease and up to the brow bone. And yes, it is very light. You're not really gonna see it. It will just help us to blend out. So yeah, anyways, back to my hair. I uh, went really light with my hair last week and I love it. I've been wanting to change up my hair for a while. I've been at rose gold for quite some time. So I was ready for a change and I'm loving this bright hair. Now I'm taking this color from the palette and putting that in the crease as well and blending that out and not going up quite as far. And I'm using the same fluffy brush. This is my first time filming like a chit chat get ready with me. I've never, you're supposed to like make small talk. I've never done this. I don't know. I don't know what to talk to you guys about. What do you want to talk about? See, there you go. I'm being quiet again. These shadows are great. I think that they blend out really nicely. They aren't chalky or anything like that. I really, really liked playing around with these. I think I've used just about every color um, in this palette and I've been really, really happy with it. Now I'm gonna pick up this color right here. It's kind of like a, it's a gray with like a hint of green to it. It's called Smoke, it's really pretty. I'm going to put that in my crease. 
We're going to keep this a lot closer to the crease. Guys, it's like so hot out today. It's like 90 degrees here in Seattle. I am melting. My body does not like, does not like the heat. But it's been nice that we've had some really nice weather. We had some great weather like really, really early on before summer. And um, everyone was super excited. And then we had some really crappy weather there for a while where it was lots and lots of rain, which I, I, I didn't mind it at all, really. But a lot of people were pretty upset because they felt like they didn't have much of a summer. And now we seem to have warmed up a bit. I'm just trying to stay as cool as I can. And I'm just building this up until it's as pigmented as I want it to be. Guys, I actually cannot wait for the fall. Fall is my favorite season, and I am already wanting to do some fall looks. If you want specific fall looks, like specific colors or something like that, let me know because I have some ideas, but it, I always love hearing your ideas and what you want to see, and I'm happy to try to do those for you. I can't wait. I even went really dark with my nails today. <laughs> Uh, because I'm just so excited for the fall. Okay, so before we get too much further, I'm going to take this color right here, which is kind of like a champagne-y color, and I believe this is called Millennium Gold. It's not super gold, but I'm going to be putting this all over the lid, and I am just going to use my finger and pat that on. Do any of you guys get the BoxyCharm boxes? If so, do you like them? Are you happy with most of the stuff you're getting? What's like your favorite product that you've gotten? Mine would have to be probably these eyeshadows so far. I really, really like these. And now that that color is all over the lid, I'm gonna go back in with that smoke color and just kind of blend the edges and deepen the color a little bit more. This eye makeup is probably going to be smokier than I need it to be today. I have dinner plans in just a couple hours. And as I said, it's a sunny, hot day. And I'm going to be going kind of smoky with my eye just because of the colors in this palette. So, you know, I'm going to be rocking a smoky eye in 90 degree weather. But, uh, you know, that's okay. You can do whatever you want with makeup. Now what I'm going to do is take that smoke color and put it on the outer, about the outer third of my eyelid. Right here, just pack, pat that on. If it doesn't get pigmented enough by patting it on with a brush, I'll switch to using my finger. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger now, just so I can intensify that color. And I like to do it on the outer third and then just kind of bring it down to the lash line. Also, I'm filming today with a new ring light that we got. It was sent to my husband to review, and um, it's by a brand I've never heard of, but I'm excited to try it and see how it works. It is adjustable, and I do not have a viewfinder on my camera to see what I'm filming or how it looks. I'm hoping the lighting looks okay. Let me know your feedback if you feel like the light is too bright, or if you think it looks okay, let me know so I know. Next, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this color, which I believe this color is called Iron, and I'm gonna put that in the crease as well. Now, this color does have a little bit of shimmer to it, and some people think it's crazy to put shimmery colors in the crease, but I've been doing it for quite some time. I don't usually put like super glittery colors in the crease, but if it has a little bit of shimmer, I don't see anything wrong with that. And as I said, there's really no rules to makeup, so you can do whatever you want to do. But I'm putting this in the crease and then I'm going to put that close to the lash line as well and we'll do that on the other side I'm taking that same iron color and I'm going to just kind of smudge that into my lash line on the bottom And this look is totally getting smokier than I originally anticipated because I'm just trying to use as many colors as I can. That's okay though. I'm going to go back in with this color here and just kind of blend out all the colors along the edges here. Just soften all of this out. 
Oh my gosh, it is getting so hot in the room with the lights. I'm gonna start sweating here. You're gonna see me glistening soon. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put that on the bottom lash line as well. All right, going back with Millennium Gold and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eyes here. I feel like it's really sparkly. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this inner part of my eye just so you can see that sparkle a little more. Sometimes when you're blending a bunch of colors around your lightest color or your sparkly color on your lid, you can lose the intensity. So you can always go back in and layer a little bit more on there. Now I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my brow bone as a highlight. I'm using this Morphe brush. It's a little bigger than I probably want it to be. So I'm gonna kind of squish, squish it down so it's not as big and fluffy. And I'm going to put that right at the highest point of my arch right there and just blend that back and forth and then down a little ways. So now the question is, is do we want to do liquid eyeliner? I received this Galactic eyeliner in my BoxyCharm and I love the color of it. It's a very matte black, but I noticed that the pen runs out of ink uh, pretty quickly. So I have been using the Physicians Formula liquid liner and I really, really like this. I'm going to try to do my liquid liner with this, but if it, if it dries out, I might have to switch to this one. But I do want you to see how this one applies in case you're interested in knowing a little bit about their liners. And my pen is already starting to run out of ink. I'm already having to switch to my other eyeliner because the Galactic liner already pooped out on me. So let's grab this Physicians Formula Eye Booster one and this is gonna work a lot better for us. And I have more control with this. You can see that it's already so much more black. Now I'm using this Max Lash Volumizer Mascara by Douce. Douche? I have no idea how to say that. This is what it looks like. I have not used this yet. I'm very particular about mascara wands. I feel like I can be picky about what I feel works for me or not. Man, I'm not very close to the mirror, but what I will say is that my eyes do look pretty dark in color. I feel like it might be um, separating them into like clumps or putting them into clumps. Not meaning that's clumpy, but it's not um, separating them a ton. I feel like it's actually making them stick together in little groups, uh, which is fine. It's not fanning them out as much as I usually like, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't love the brush. I feel like it can't like get up in there. The bristles on the brush don't like push through to get up through the lashes. It went on the bottom lashes okay. I didn't have to work with it quite as much as I did on the top. Before I forget, I also got this clear brow gel by the Brow Gal. And I haven't tried this yet, so let's use this and see. I have a little bit of a brow pencil in my brows today. I'm just going to quickly brush it through. Maybe I'll brush up the front part of my hair to make my brows look a little more wild. And sometimes it makes it look more natural, less like drawn in in the front if you push these hairs forward or up, I should say. And uh, we'll see how well that gel kind of holds in there. So I feel like I have to go back in to really like build up the product to make it really, really stay. It's okay. I don't know if I love it. All right, next I am super excited to try this. This is a liquid lipstick by Dirty Little Secret. 
I love liquid lipstick. And this is a beautiful bright red. It looks like it's kind of an orangier red, which I really like. And I don't know if I actually have an orangey red liquid lipstick, at least not a good one. I think I have one that's um, an ultra matte by ColourPop and it is like really dry and hard to work with. So I'm hoping that this is a better formula. I was trying to decide if I wanted to line my lips with a red liner first, but I think I'm just gonna wing it and see how it goes without a liner. A lot of times I won't use a liner unless I'm using an ultra matte um, color pop liquid lipstick that I know is really really drying and can get streaky really easy then I will line my lips first so that it's e I can it's just easier for me to work with that product but I want to see how this works on its own whoa that is bright and it is a gorgeous color Well, I love the color. It was really easy to put on. I'm kind of waiting for it to dry to see how it looks and to see if I need another coat of it. So let's let this dry for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I will say about this formula, because it is very thin, it dries pretty quickly in those thin areas, but anywhere where it might be a little thicker, like the edges or anything like that, that takes a little bit longer to dry. It is not 100% fully dry, so I'm not gonna do like a little kiss test on the back of my hand yet, because I know there will be a little bit of transferring. But I will say, it feels very comfortable on the lips. It definitely feels like there's a liquid lipstick on your lips. Like it's a little bit tighter, a little bit drier. Not like you have dry, flaky lips or anything. But you can feel that there's a matte product on the lips. But it's very lightweight and very comfortable. And I bet you I won't even notice it after a few minutes. So overall, I am really impressed with this. I really, really like this. I did one coat and I think it covered really well. I have a freckle on my lip right here and you can kind of see that through the lip color, but I don't know if that really bothers me. I don't know if I want a chance putting on a second layer and um, potentially having it do weird things, at least not until it's fully dry. But that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with all the products. My favorite thing by far are these overshadows. I've used these multiple times. I really like them. They blend out really, really well. I was very impressed with the blush and bronzer palette. I really liked it. The blush was very pigmented. The bronzer was beautiful. It blended out really, really nicely. And at first I thought it might have been too warm, but seeing it on my face now, I don't think it's too warm at all. It's just a slightly different color than I'm used to, but I really like it. So this was really, really nice and surprising. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I would say the most surprising thing was this highlighter though. I didn't think you were gonna be able to see anything on my skin because it's so light, but I definitely see some sheen and reflect right here. It's very, very subtle but it's definitely showing up when I didn't think it would at all. So that's really good to know. I wish I knew where that other loose highlighter was that I have from my BoxyCharm, the first BoxyCharm that I got. I'm sure I will come across it and I'll use it in another video for you guys because I'm excited to try it. The most disappointing product that I tried would kind of maybe be a tie between these two. Um, the Girl Lactic Liquid Liner. It's a beautiful, beautiful matte color the pen just dries out really fast and for me the pen is a little too long and narrow i feel like i don't have quite as much control because it's so loose and soft on the end of the tip here it's just probably because i'm not used to it but i was just bummed that this dried up so quickly because when you first use it and put it on the color is matte and it is beautiful and then the only other thing that I have to say about this that was disappointing is the wand. I feel like the formula is probably just fine. Like it's a very black, black mascara. This wand though, it's just, it's kind of a weird shape. I feel like it's supposed to kind of be like a twisted X hexagon maybe, like kind of shape that's twisted. Maybe they're trying to get all fancy with it. But do you see how it kind of has like weird curves to it? I'm assuming that's on purpose. I don't know. But the main thing is that it's they're too soft or something and you can't really like get in your lashes and really work it and push it through to separate those lashes. So it it tends to kind of clump them into sections, which is it, it's fine. It looks fine. I just don't think that the the wand is very good on this. The formula seems to be really good, but I don't think the wand is very good. So I hope you enjoyed this and thought it was kind of fun to see how these products worked. If you have any questions on any of these products, please comment down below and let me know. Also, this is my first official like 
chit chat get ready with me. So I'm sorry if I wasn't chit chatting quite enough. I'm not used to that at all. I'll try to get better. But let me know, do you guys like the get ready with me videos where the people are talking and you're having a little chit chat conversation? Or do you prefer they're just getting ready and there's like a voiceover of some kind or the products are listed somewhere? Let me know what you prefer because if you don't like the chit chat ones very much, then maybe I won't do too many more of them. But that is it for me today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. If you aren't already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on the way out. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Of course, I would get all the way upstairs, do my hair, and then I would find that highlighter I was talking about. So this is the Cougar by Paula Dune, Paula Dunn highlighter and have the name of the color on the box, Diamond Kiss. Now this color might be too yellow for me because I am just so pale, but I've been wanting to try this. So I just figure why the heck not? So the box actually says it's a mineral face and body uh, shimmer. So it looks like it might be too yellow for me, but let's let's try a little bit here. Oh, when it's blended out, you see the shimmer way better. It looks almost matte when it's like sitting. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, my dogs are running around out there. It looks kind of matte in here, but once you spread it all on out, it gets, um, you can see the shimmer better. Let's do a little bit more here. This worked way better than I thought it would. It looks so yellow in the um, container. I thought it would for sure be too dark for my skin. Let me move my hair out of the way here. Hopefully you can see this okay. That's actually really pretty. I'm very impressed by this. Now, if I were especially tan, AKA meaning I use a lot of self tanner because I don't go tanning and I don't try to get tan from the sun. If I had a lot of self tanner on, this would especially look amazing. I am super impressed. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the tip of my nose because sometimes I just like to do that. And I would put some on my Cupid's bow, but I already have lipstick on, so I think it's probably better if I skip that for right now. But I think it's actually really pretty. The thing about highlighter is if you have any texture to your face, any bumps or anything like that, the highlighter will definitely bring that out. So if that's something that you're not comfortable with, if you don't like the texture on your skin, you might not want to use highlight. As soon as I put that highlight on, you can see all the little tiny bumps in my skin. I don't mind too much, um, but I think that that's such, it's a really pretty color. It's almost a little too yellow, almost a little too dark for my skin. Not yellow, dark, a little too dark for my skin, but I think I can just pull it off. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm super glad I found that so I could give it a try. And again, as I said before, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.